Hey there, welcome back to another video. And for today, I'm going to show you how to create an ads account on Facebook Business Manager for your e-commerce needs. So the first thing you want to do is log into your Facebook account and go to facebook.com. From the Facebook homepage, you want to access the pages list on the left-hand side of the menu. From here, you can see a list of all the pages that your Facebook account manages. As an example, this page is currently not updated to the new pages experience, so we have to click on the three dots and then click on switch now in order to update them and manage them properly. On the left hand side of the manage page menu, you can see your professional dashboard where you can find insights, management tools, and ad creation all in one place. You can also click on this icon to hide or show this sidebar menu. Since I'm going to show you how to create Facebook ads, we're going to click on the Meta Business Suite icon. From here, you can access the Meta Business Suite dashboard. From this dashboard, you can see a list of different tools that you can access in order to manage your Facebook page in a more business and professional manner. For now, we want to access the business.facebook.com forward slash settings page in order to access the settings for our Meta Business Suite. From this Meta Business page, you can see a list of all the different users that have access to your Meta Business account. You can change the settings for all the different accounts, data sources, registrations, etc. For example, on the left-hand side, underneath the Users tab, you can see a list of the different accounts which have access to your Meta Business settings. You'll see a list of people, partners, and system users. If we take a look at the people page, we can see one account underneath the people list. You can see the name of the account, the email, the business account access, and since I'm the owner of this page, I have full control of everything. Since we want to make some Facebook ads, on the left hand side, underneath the accounts tab, look for the add accounts button. In the Add Accounts page, you can see that you can add separate accounts to be an advertisement account on your Facebook Meta business settings. We can either add a new ad account, request access to an already existing ad account, or create a completely new ad account. Now, on the upper right corner is a button that says Open an Ads Manager. This will open up the Meta Business Suite page for all your advertisement campaigns. Here, you can manage campaigns, set new ones, and see the progress of all your currently active advertisement campaigns. So let's try making a new campaign by clicking on the green Create button underneath the Campaign menu. From here, Meta will alert you if your account needs more info or has certain requirements to be met in order to publish its first ad campaign. The Meta Business Suite also makes it very streamlined to plan and launch your advertisement campaigns. As you can see, there are six simplified objectives that Meta offers in order to streamline the campaign creation process. You have the option to choose different campaign objectives in order to create awareness, boost traffic, increase engagement, find new leads, create an app promotion, and to boost sales. By hovering over each campaign objective, you can see what the objective is trying to aim for for your Meta Business account. So as you can see, for example, we can choose traffic to send people to a destination to like our website, app, or Facebook event. Meta also gives recommendations for what this campaign objective is good for. And here you can see another option is to choose to boost engagement for your ad campaign. This is useful to get more messages, boost your video views, post engagement, and create more page likes or event responses. After selecting the appropriate campaign objective, you can now go down to name your campaign. This is an optional step, but of course, in order to keep things very organized, you definitely want to name your ad campaigns. You can choose a campaign name, set your advertisement set, which is to determine your audience, placement, schedule, and spending. And of course, you can create an ad itself. Once you're happy with all the details you've inputted, go ahead and click continue. And as you can see, you now have a new ad campaign, which looks like a folder. 
Within this ad campaign folder, you'll find all the details for the advertisement campaign you wish to launch. From here, you can find more details about your advertisement campaign. You can run a special ad category in order to determine if your advertisements are related to certain niche and specific industries. This way, it makes it easier for Facebook and Meta to identify what kind of advertisements your campaign is trying to push. You can also see a bunch of details about your campaign, such as buying type, the campaign objective, and even set a campaign spending limit, which is basically the overall budget of your campaign. Here, you can click edit in order to set your campaign spending limit. You can add one, and it'll alert you if your campaign spending limit will not reach certain requirements. For example, for the currency of US dollars, the campaign spending limit must be at least $100. Please do note, however, that any changes you make to your campaign details or overall changes to your campaign itself will need about 15 minutes before it'll take effect. And from this list as well, you can also create an A-B test, which will test the efficiency of your ad campaign, and you can even set an advantaged campaign budget. Now, let's take a deeper dive into our advertisement set on the left-hand side by clicking 418 to 20 to access the settings for our advertisement set. From here, you can see your advertisement set name and the conversion location that you wish to target your advertisement set towards. You have multiple options to choose where you want to drive engagement for your advertisement set. It can either be in messaging apps, on your advertisement itself, on your specific website, on an application, or on your Facebook page. As you can see, we can't choose the app option since Facebook will know if we're actually using this business meta account for an app. So we're going to just try out using the messages for our conversion and choose the ad type, which is click the message. This means that when someone clicks on our ad, it'll automatically start a new conversation with them. And as you can see, we have our Facebook page currently linked to this advertisement set. And here you can see the messaging apps where you'll be able to chat with all your customers and people who click on your advertisements. We can also set our performance goals and even set a very specific budget and schedule to run these ads. Now, moving on to audience, you can create a new audience or use a already pre-existing saved audience template. For example, here for our Facebook page, we want to target people in the Philippines aged 18 to 65 of all genders. This way, Facebook will know who to push our ads towards. If you wish to be more in-depth, we can also put in detailed targeting in order to really narrow down who Facebook will push our ads towards. And here, you can see the placements options, which will dictate where Facebook will publish your ads to. You can either choose the Advantage Plus placements, which will automatically use Facebook's algorithm to maximize your budget and help show our ads to more people. But you can also choose manual placements to really narrow down and create a custom profile to place your ads to. You can also choose which devices to show your ads towards and the platforms underneath the meta of company that you wish to push your ads to. After the placements list, you can see the asset customization, which basically lets you customize exactly how, when, where your advertisements will be shown. As you can see, there are a whole list of different options to choose from when deciding where to push your ad's assets to. And finally, on the left-hand side, if we click on Jaunty, we can customize the advertisement itself. From here, you can see the ad's identity, set up the ad itself, and select the media, text, and destination for your ad. You can also set a message template in order to set exactly what kind of message and conversation you wish to have with people who'll click through your advertisement. You can also set the tracking dataset that contains the conversations your ad might motivate. It might seem a bit overwhelming at first, but give it some time and all of this will definitely make sense when trying to push and create ads for your business.
Now, as you can see, a good amount of these features will require payment information linked to your Facebook business account. So once you've linked your proper payment details, you now have full access to changing your ads and setting the kinds of advertisement campaigns you wish to run for your business. And that's it for this video. You now know the basics of how to create a Facebook ad using the Meta Business Suite. If you have any other questions or inquiries, feel free to leave them down in a comment below. Don't forget to like this video if you feel like you learned something new and subscribe to the channel for more info and content like this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.